Welcome to the Daily Challenge for November 23rd, 2014. Let's begin.
Well, I did not want to use that scroll. <clears throat> okay, well, let's go with this. I need to go as fast as possible. I see in there. That's weird. What the fuck is going on? What? Why can't I see? I can't. What? What? I, huh? Uh. I don't know what the hell just happened. I, I don't ever remember seeing that happen before. This is a clusterfuck, but an interesting one.
Holy fuck!
I don't even know what's happening. What the hell even just happened? What what was any of that? What did I even do? I... I well, where, where do I even start? Well, huh? I don't even remember everything that happened. Holy shit, that... The, let's see where I'm at in the scoreboards. Okay, number seven. I'll take it. <laughs> Jesus Christ! How did I live? So many things happened! I... Wow. <clears throat> I'm trying to even remember what the hell I did. There's a point in the game where everything just went crazy. Where was that? Oh, yes! That was after I killed the shopkeeper, right? Yeah, I killed the shopkeeper because I wanted his stuff. And I took everything that he had, including a scroll. I think it was an orange scroll, and I have no idea what the hell the orange scroll does. And I used it, and I think it transformed my golden longsword into a... Uh, was it a blood longsword? I think. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it did. And then, why did I take his crown? I can't remember. Is it because I wanted something that gave me more gold? Or I don't even remember, actually. But then from there on out, holy crap, I mean, I've got the crown, I got better armor, I went for a, a blood repair because it does a little bit more damage. I got the ring of war, which makes it do even extra damage. You have the, what is that, the bright torch? I thought it was the glass torch, but it, it can't be because I got hurt so many times and it didn't break. And then I got more armor for my feet, so I was pretty much invincible and, you know, really anything was going to do at most, or uh, the damage anything tried to do to me was pretty much guaranteed to be reduced to half a heart. And given that I had the blood repair, I would get it back pretty fast. And not to mention I had the freaking shield spell that I got from killing the shopkeeper. Which I, despite the fact that I pretty much never used it, I actually managed to use it really well quite a few times. Like when I kept getting mobbed at the beginning of each level. God, the beginnings of the levels, for a lot of the levels in Zone 3, were fucking insane. And they're normally kind of insane, but they're extra insane when you have the Ring of War, which makes more enemies spawn on each level. That was fucking nuts. So, I think it was one, maybe two times when I spawned into a new level in Zone 3 and I was just like, holy shit, I don't know what the fuck to do, like there's a red dragon and 50 yetis and a couple beetles up my ass, I'm just gonna use my shield thing and just bash everything in the face. Like when I started getting near the red dragon, I knew like, I, there's no way I could easily maneuver around it to be able to safely get out of its uh, fire blast with all the other enemies around, so I'm like, okay, screw that, I'm just gonna use my shield and just, you know get right up next to everything and just bash it a bit. And uh, it really worked. The only case where using my shield did not work is when I tried to use it on that very last boss there. I was thinking, okay, why don't I just use my shield and just, you know, slam my way through all the all the chest pieces and just go for the dude in the back. Checkmate. But, uh, not so, because he moves out of the way really, really well. He's very slippery. He's slippery in a way that actually would be very easy to hit if you had a weapon that had a horizontal or, you know, something other than a straight line sort of attack. So that's that's one boss where I think that sort of weapon would actually benefit uh, that specific part of the boss. I don't think it'd benefit killing the other pieces, but at least for killing him, it would benefit. So my weapon proved not very good for that, but again, because of the uh, crazy armor that I had, it wasn't that big of a deal just to kill everything else and then go for him. God, I fucked up so many times. There was one time, I think kind of early on before everything got too crazy, where I think it's after I had the chainmail armor. And I also had like a drumstick or something, I think. And I just kept doing stupid stuff. Like I kept taking damage and I was in a pretty good position. But I, yeah, I kept taking stupid damage. But then I used my drumstick and, you know, got all my health back, so it wasn't that big of a deal. And then everything in, you know, from zone three on was just a clusterfuck. 
I messed up a lot, but that's just because so many damn things were happening. What else? Um, let's see. I did decide to go with a Ring of War over the Golden Ring. I don't know if that's the right choice. Because the point of getting any piece of equipment in the game for a daily challenge is really what gets you more gold, right? And obviously a ring of gold makes things drop more gold. However, when I picked it up, I did have a weapon that I believe only did one damage. At the time, I'm pretty sure it only did one damage. I think so. Yeah, I'm pretty sure at the time I only had a weapon that did one damage. So I was thinking, okay, you have to weigh a couple things against each other. The gold ring is going to make enemies drop more gold. That's true. But... There's two ways in which the Ring of War may allow you to get more gold, and one is if you simply live longer, right? If a piece of equi equipment makes you live longer, then you're going to gain more gold. That may make up for the fact that they're not dropping as much gold, I'm not really sure. It's kind of hard to, kind of hard to tell, but yes, if a piece of equipment makes you live longer, then it may, in the end, give you more gold. And not to mention, the Ring of War also makes more enemies spawn. So even though I'm getting less gold per enemy, more enemies are spawning. Now, whether it equals out to be more or less gold than just having the gold ring, I don't know. But I felt moving into zone number two and zone number three was pretty important to have a weapon that did at least two damage. And once I got the blood repair, then I was able to actually do three damage if I hit them on the tip. So I think I would take the ring of war in that situation over the gold ring again. I probably would. Although when you combine it with a crown, like, I don't know, I don't know if the gold ring stacks before the crown doubles the gold that they drop from the enemies, or, or what. I have no idea. I think taking either the gold ring or the ring of war are, are both pretty valid choices. But I went with the ring of war just because I like the, the extra damage, more enemies, plus... Uh, the knockback is really nice, too. The knockback is really nice. Because, especially with the uh, the rapier you don't really have to worry about zooming forwards and accidentally getting smushed by say one of the rock monsters because you just keep pushing them so you can just kind of keep pushing against the tide and you'll never really get hurt because you're always going to be pushing them back or at least making them stay in place yeah that was a freaking insane run towards the end i didn't even know what the hell was happening but damn that was fun that's uh what is that? Is that like the third time I've beaten, I've done a, survived the full daily challenge? I know I've done it, I've definitely done it once, I'm pretty sure I've done it twice. I think that was the third time. Yeah, that was crazy. Alright, that has been the daily challenge for November 23rd, 2014. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you on the next one.